Nothing freshens up a home like a fresh coat of paint. But what if that paint could do more than just change your home's appearance? What if it could actually make your home more cooler? Literally. Well, that's just the idea behind a new type of ultra white paint developed by researchers at Purdue University. The paint is officially the whitest substance in the world. So white that it can actually create a cooling effect on the objects it covers. Could the solution to climate change really be as simple as a fresh coat of paint? How exactly does it work? And are there any potential downsides? We thought these questions deserved a deeper dive today on 2-Bit Da Vinci. Special thanks to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. Better nutrition made a lot simpler and sent straight to you with Athletic Greens. When we think of paint, we might think about those old classic Bob Ross videos. But can paint really go from making happy little clouds and trees to literally saving the planet? To start, let's talk about visible light and what gives color their color. First of all, visible light is only a tiny part of the entire electromagnetic radiation spectrum. Wavelengths here on this spectrum determine the amount of energy the waves carry. Things like radio waves and microwaves and infrared have less energy than visible light. And things like ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays have much more. In the visible light spectrum, each color perceived by the eye is based on the wavelengths of light reflected by a surface. For example, if you look at a red t-shirt, you're seeing a fabric that reflects more red light while absorbing other wavelengths. A material that absorbs all wavelengths of light is seen as black because very little light bounces off and actually meets your eye. White then is the opposite, as a white material is prone to reflect most of the visible light spectrum, and all those colors mix to be perceived as white. This is why a white car stays cooler in the sun because it reflects more of the sun's energy than a black car does, which absorbs more. This then is where we start our journey. Clearly, white paint isn't new, so what makes this stuff so much more white? And does it actually make that much of a difference? Well, researcher and professor of mechanical engineering at Purdue University, Zhu Lin Ron, seems to think so. The paint developed by him and his team have come as a result of over six years of research, chasing a question that dates back to the 1970s. Can you use paint to replace air conditioning? And after all these years of research, the team finally stumbled on a substance that has officially been deemed the whitest on earth, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. Looks like Vladimir Putin's shirtless chest has just been dethroned. But the team's goal was never to create the whitest substance. Instead, they were trying to develop a paint that could generate a cooling effect on objects, in particular rooftops and buildings. It just so happens that in order to achieve that, they inadvertently created an ultra white substance. Since the color is actually achromatic and reflects and scatters all the visible wavelengths of light. Because white objects don't absorb any light, they are inherently much cooler than other objects. The trick was to find a material that could reflect the most light. After testing over a hundred different materials, the team finally landed on a chemical compound called barium sulfate, commonly used to make photo paper and cosmetics appear white. It turns out barium sulfate has a high electron band gap for low solar absorptance. That's the ratio of the radiant energy absorbed by a body to that incident upon it, the amount that the body is exposed to. And phonon resonance at around nine micrometers, which makes it an incredibly suitable material for a phenomenon called radiative cooling. We covered this topic in a previous video about sky cool systems, which you should definitely check out if this is the kind of thing that you're into. Basically, as radiation from the sun hits the earth, some of it reflects back out into space through tiny sky windows. This is why your car might have a layer of frost on in the morning. Infrared radiation can pass through clear, dry air in a wavelength range between 8 and 13 micrometers. This helps this radiation in particular to cut through the water vapor and CO2 in our atmosphere. Materials with this right reflective capabilities can bounce that radiation right back out into space and generate a cooling effect even in direct sunlight. And it turns out barium sulfate possesses those reflective properties. But it's not just a high concentration of particles that give Ruan's paint its whiteness. The size of the particles also plays a crucial role. By adding particles of varying sizes, the paint's reflective properties increase. With particles of all the right shape and size, the paint could reach a solar reflectance of over 98%. 
Before we get back to the show, let me tell you about our sponsor, Athletic Greens. Being full-time on YouTube, I've made it a goal to focus on my health. I got an e-bike and now ride about six miles a day. I'm cutting sugar, eating better, and now I start my day with Athletic Greens Daily Nutrition. AG1 is super simple. Just take a scoop of powder or one of their convenient travel packs and mix with eight ounces of water. It's gluten-free, no eggs, no sugar added, nut-free, dairy-free. What it is then is the convenient way of making sure your body is getting the 75 vitamins and minerals and whole food sourced ingredients to give you optimal performance every single day. AG1 supports the body's nutritional needs across four pillars of health, gut health, immune support, energy, and recovery. Now, I don't know about you, but after months of isolation, I'm particularly interested in seeing improvements to my immune system as I continue to use AG1 daily. So go to the link in the description to get started on your order. Athletic Greens is gonna give you, my viewers, a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Huge thanks to Athletic Greens and all of you for supporting the show. Using white paint to reflect heat is nothing new. It's been common practice in places like Greece for years. And in densely populated urban areas like New York, initiatives to paint rooftops white have been implemented to combat what's known as the urban island effect. Basically, a heat island is when a structure like a building, road, or some other form of infrastructure absorbs and re-emits the sun's heat at a much higher rate than the natural landscape, even after the sun goes down. Obviously, because urban areas have significantly more infrastructure, they are the biggest culprit of heat islands. According to the EPA in the United States, the heat island effect can result in daytime temperatures in urban areas about 1 to 7 degrees Fahrenheit higher than temperatures in outlying areas, and nighttime temperatures are between 2 and 5 degrees Fahrenheit higher. The problem with most commercially available paints, even white reflective paints, only reflect between 80 and 90 percent of the sunlight. And what's worse, they still absorb a significant amount of heat. What makes this new ultra-white paint so unique is that not only does it reflect over 98% of sunlight, it also creates a cooling effect. Purdue researchers were able to show that their paint can keep surfaces up to 8 degrees Fahrenheit below their surroundings under direct sunlight during the day and up to 18 degrees Fahrenheit cooler at night. That's a pretty big temperature gap, considering it's literally nothing more than a coat of paint. No heat pumps, no working fluids, no grid energy to power complex machines, all things that residential and commercial AC units require, and all of which can have a detrimental impact on the environment. And again, all AC units do is transfer heat from inside your house to outside, whereas this ultraviolet paint literally sends that radiation back out into space. When field testing their paint, Ruan and his team covered a 1,000 square meter roof in their reflective paint. The result, according to their data, was a cooling power equaling roughly 10 kilowatt hours electricity, or about 34,000 BTUs, more powerful than most residential central air conditioners, which can vary but tend to average about 24,000 BTUs. Ruan and his team estimate that this could reduce your electricity bill by about $1 per day, or possibly more, just by painting your roof. By painting both walls and roofs, retail stores could see up to an 11% reduction in annual energy cost, while single-family homes could see an 8% reduction. But Ruan sees an even greater potential for his paint, actually reducing global temperatures. According to Purdue researchers, if just 1% of the planet's surface were covered in the world's whitest paint, worldwide temperatures could drop about 1 degree Celsius which is about how much the global temps have increased since 1880, according to NASA. Of course, as with all scientific breakthroughs, there are some who are skeptical about this new ultra-white paint. Researchers from both the South Air Coast Quality Management District and the Heat Island Group at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratories have suggested that ultra-white paint may actually contribute to the very problems it's designed to alleviate. Some of the research indicated that while white paint does indeed cool urban surfaces, it actually prevented moisture and energy from traveling upward to form clouds. Fewer clouds means that more sunlight ends up hitting the exposed areas, which could offset the cooling effect. Another potential flaw in reflective paint came via observations from air quality scientist Scott Epstein, who observed that wintertime air pollution in rural Utah was worse in the summertime, due in part because the white snow actually reflects the UV light back into the atmosphere. This then triggers a chemical reaction that forms smog and pollutants such as black carbon, which of course contributes to the heating of our atmosphere. 
Then there's a more practical drawback that conflicts with the very problem this tech aims to solve. In winter, any stray sunlight that might have warmed your house, well, now is reflected away. In turn, this could potentially lead to higher heating costs, especially in cold days with good sunshine. My mom was right. I guess you really can't have it all. So clearly this is a technology for cooling in climates where hot summers are worse than cold winters. Places like the American Southwest immediately come to mind. As of right now, the research teams are looking for a commercial partner to scale up the production of their paint and hopes to have it available in the market within the next two years. The team also intends to investigate creating colors other than white, which will still maintain some reflective properties, though obviously not as much. This could help the product become more commercially viable. Because, you know, we don't want to have houses that look like everybody else's in pure white like some dystopian sci-fi novel. Imagine a future where your house could be coated in reflective paint and outfitted with reflective solar panels, creating a cooling effect 24 hours a day while consuming virtually no electricity. That sounds pretty chill to me. But what do you think? Is white paint the way to go for passive cooling? Do you think the rewards outweigh some of the potential risk? Sound off in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. This is a look at the world's whitest paint. How funny to think that paint could lead to cooling your house and not needing as much air conditioning. But that's exactly what it can do. Yay science. Thank you all of you for watching and a special thank you to all of our patrons on Patreon and our YouTube channel members. We call you guys the tribe. Thank you for joining us. And if you wanna join us to research topics, pick topics, write, just be a part of the team and chat with us and do video calls, check out a link in the video description and come join us. Well, that pretty much does it for us. Take a look around. We have videos we think you're going to love. I'm Ricky with Tuba Da Vinci, and just remember the future is gonna be awesome.